And here, there is a compass. A compass that you're given. And on the northern end of this compass, what we might say the upper end of the compass, that's the direction of love. So instead of it being north, it's the direction of love. And opposite to that is obviously the direction of fear. And of course, anything that's opposing love, which actually degrades into being quite evil at times. Right? And then you could say the other directions, the westerly and easterly directions, are all just distractions to north, love. All right? And here's our map. Now at the bottom of our map, there's this great big valley. And I'd call that the valley of death. Now on the side of the valley of death, or just above the valley of death, there's, on one side, there's all these small foothills. And I'm going to call those the foothills of personal truth. Uh -huh. And on the other side of the valley, probably should be in black, there's this great big foggy area, which is the fog, fogs of doubt, fear and indecision. Now, above those areas, there's this really bleak area. Above both of those areas. This is quite large. Should we call that the deserts? The Z desert of pain and suffering. Start to get the picture of where, what this map's all about. Above the deserts of pain and suffering, there's these wonderful mountains. Big mountains that you're going to have to navigate at some point in your life. Right. And that's the mountains. Whoops, mountains of truth. This one is God's truth, right? Above the mountains of God's truth, there's this area on the side. Really quite nice area. Should we call it? We call it it's just a big area, big plain, and there's there's this sort of like a staircase going up to it. Of waterfalls and and stairs all through, through this beautiful winey valley. We could say that is the staircase of, or the, you could say it's the, is that staircase, is that the way we wanted to use the word? Probably. It's the steps to natural beauty. And this, you could say, is, the, is just natural beauty. Beautiful area up there. On this side, though, there's a place that's even more beautiful, and I just wish I had another colour, but this is the place of, and it just goes up, and it's, and it's celestial beauty. And there's another staircase, some of which comes from the staircase of natural beauty, right? but some also come from way, way down here, all the way up. So if we go staircase, and now you could say that's the celestial staircase.
Ah oui. It's just one more region on your map that I'd like to add. Is that all right? Is that yeah? Right down there, just above the Valley of Death. Yeah. Is the La La Land of Facade and Denial. Ah yes, we've forgotten the La La Land of Facade. Yes. So we've got to put that in here. Just here that is. La La Land of Facade and Addiction. Okay. So you're given the map. God gives you the map. God gives you the compass. The compass is, if you focus your direction in terms of love, you'll be able to navigate this map. But if you don't focus your direction in terms of love, you, all sorts of things will happen to you. Right? And then God sends you 14 other souls back who's already been there to tell you how to even get there and show you. Actually, they show, trying to show you through what they do. Just show you how to get there. And do you know what most of you do? You look at the map and then you've got the compass and then you go, what's the first question you probably have to ask yourself? If you've got a map and you've got a compass, what's the first question you need to ask yourself? Tess, at the back. Just say, if you put, say it in the mic. Where am I? I Where am I? Important piece of information, isn't it? Like, if you are here facing that direction, right, and you think you are here facing that direction, this is a problem, right? You've got to know where you are. You've got to discover where you are. And there's all these tools to help you discover where you are. And you know what most of you are doing? Completely ignoring them. All these tools to show you where you actually are. And then, of course, there's a second part of the information. Once you know where you are, what would be the next logical thing to try to decide? San Angela. Where do I need to go? Not where do you need to go, because remember... Where it's do I want to go? Where do you want to go? Yes, where do you want to go? Okay. So it's not about what you need to do. Nobody's telling you what to do here. You don't have to go anywhere. You, this whole... You can explore anywhere in this wonderful landscape, the universal, you could call it your universal landscape, you can explore anywhere in it. So it's all to do with where you want to go. So those two questions. Where are you right now? Where do you want to go? Are the two most important questions that you really need to ask. After getting the map and getting the compass, you'll be able to make some decisions and choices as long as you know where you are now and where you want to go. All right. So 